Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So as you all know in our group UK Cricket Creators we offer sort of six to eight free virtual events a month and quite often we will do 3D builds. So today we are doing the SVG Cuts Heirloom Christmas Tree. This is an absolute monster of a file, it really is. You can't do a lot of change into this and in fact you don't want to change anything to do with the size because this is all exact. It's really important that you follow the list that we've given you all so if you're attending the event you must make sure that you have got the right size of these glass inserts or plastic inserts I should say. It's super important. You need to make sure you're getting the correct size because the holes on these are exact. And if you mess with the sizing or you get the wrong plastic pieces, this is not going to work. So this all needs to be really exact. We're going to add this to our cart and purchase it and then we can download it onto our computer. Now you may find that when you download it, it's not unzipped. To unzip it, we're simply going to double click it and it will then unzip for us. We can open it up and you'll see we've got PDF, JPEG and then SVG files. If we open up the SVG files, you'll see all the individual pieces. We're not going to use those. We're going to go into extras and you'll see we've got entire project. We're going to open up this folder and you'll see we've got entire heirloom Christmas tree broken apart. Now this one is the perforated score lines. If you want the solid score lines you're going to open that folder up and get the entire heirloom Christmas tree broken apart. This one is the solid score lines, this one is the perforated cut lines. I'm going to use the perforated cut lines. I can either copy and paste this to my pictures or I can leave it where it is. We're going to open up Design Space, go to Upload, Upload Image. I'm going to Browse, I can either go to my downloads or my pictures. If I go to my pictures it's simply a case of selecting the one I've copied and pasted. If I do it through my downloads I'm going to open the SVG files, go to extras and then I can select entire project and I can either choose the perforated cut lines or go into the solid score lines and get that one. I'm going to do the perforated cut lines and open that. I'm then going to upload it. I can then add that to my canvas. When we bring it in, you'll see it's all grouped together. So we are going to ungroup it. Now, as I say, we cannot resize this. If we resize it, you're going to close up these holes where your plastic glass pieces need to go. So we are going to just move them into color files. Some of these are set to A4. Some of them are set to 12 by 12. If they're set to A4, you may be able to bundle them up so that you can make 12 by 12 pieces. I'll probably get away with this one here as well. And I can make a 12 by 12 piece out of those. So I'm going to attach those together. These ones I need to keep as it is and I'm just going to attach my perforated cut lines to it. Again, I can bring these over and start making them 12 by 12. So I can attach those together and then attach this one to that one. And then the rest of these will need to be cut out as individual pieces but I must make sure that I'm attaching the score lines. Now these two pieces here are the base of our tree and we may need to make changes to these two pieces which I'll go through in a moment. We've got the two star pieces for the top of our tree. We've got part of our base elements here, we're not going to make any changes to those. 
These are part of our base as well and we may need to change these and again we'll go through that in a moment. These white stripe pieces and these red ones are part of our candy cane decoration. So we've got our base here, you can see our candy cane stripes there and then we've got our pattern cardstock pieces as well. This is our main tree and then our star. So I've got my candy cane pieces and then I've got my pattern card stock as well. So this is part of our base area. And this is the base of our tree. Now, they are currently set to have a candle in them. So if you're using one of the candles that we recently used in a previous event, then you can leave this exactly as it is. If however you're going to use a pool light, which is what I'm going to use and I use it in a lot of my Dreaming Tree makes, we do need to amend this slightly. So as I say, if you're going to use either a battery operated or a USB charged candle, then keep this as it is. But if you're going to use a pool light, we need to make a few changes. So all I'm going to do with these base ones is actually make them solid because I'm not going to have the candle going through. So I'm gonna select the first one, open up the contour and just contour away that little circle. And I'm gonna do the same with this one. The same with this one, I'm just going to contour it away. This one, I'm going to contour it away. And this one, I'm gonna contour that circle away. So they become solid. So that base part doesn't have anything in it. And it now just becomes a solid base for my tree to sit on. But my pool light is then gonna sit in between the top of this and my tree. Now these two pieces are what creates the base part of my tree. And again, we've got this one that's going to have the candle coming up through it. I'm not going to use a candle, I'm going to use a pool light. And if I have this as it is, it's gonna restrict my light. So what I'm gonna do is actually get rid of this piece. I don't need it, I'm just going to delete it. But I am going to duplicate this one and with the duplicate, I'm just going to, I can either leave it the size it is, or I can make it a little bit smaller, as in this a little bit smaller, so that it makes my tree just a little bit sturdier, but it's still allowing all the light from that pool light to come through. So I'm going to open up my offset, and I'm just going to make my offset and I'm just going to make my offset 0.40 and select apply. You can see I've now decreased this area, but what it's gonna do is make this all a lot sturdier. So I'm just gonna draw around these two pieces and slice. And if I just hide this one and delete this solid one, you'll see it leaves me with that outline. Now I don't want the outer part of the outline, I want the inner part so that I can then weld it to this one just to make this a little bit of a smaller gap but large enough for my pool light to come through. So I'm just gonna select my slice layer, open up my contour and contour it so that I'm left with just that middle layer. And then all I need to do is draw around those and weld it together. So this one, if we send it to back, is just a little bit sturdier. So they can be glued together and all this can then sit on it. And my pool light can sit in between the top of this base and the base of my tree. That's if I'm using a pool light. If I'm using a battery operated or USB candle, then I don't need to change anything. We can then go to make it and cut all of our pieces out. 
You do need to make sure that everything is pre-cut for the event and then we're going to put it all together. I'm so excited. Please make sure if you're joining us for this event that you read the items you need and you get those ordered because those glass bulbs do sell out really quickly. They are quite difficult to get hold of and you need to make sure you're using the correct size. So please make sure that you read the materials needed properly. As always, thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you all again soon. Bye.